So here we are down on the rocks with my mate Brett. We're going after some huss tonight. And this is the best way to put your bait on. We're using mackerel and squid. Squid, yeah. And as you see, it's going to be quite a sort of big bait. But these, this question needed answering, and this is how you do it. So what are you doing there, Brett? You put your squid on Just first. Put your squid on first. Sort your rotten bottom out. Pull your, pull your squid nice and tight. All right. Wrap your rig around, hook around the line back into the back of the squid. So that creates a nice bait like that. Let's just get a look at that. Yeah. Right. Yeah, nicely, nicely. Now the trick is with a mackerel, right, these fish, right, have got very hard mouths. So you want the hook to bite in to their fish fish's corner of the mouth, right? So what you want, so you want what you want, you've got eight other hooks here and you want that really protruding out of the bait, yeah. Bait. Right. A lot of people make the mistake of putting this bait that way. Right? Yeah. It should be e equal amounts because you've got a big body of squid around here, right? And you want a big body at the top. Right, so slide it on like that. Hook it on the top hook so that's actually disguising the hook a bit. Bit, right, and then what we do, we've got to find a bait. Bait elastic. Pick the whole lot up. We're using this uh, fish dynamics no. elastic tonight. Oh, is this the other one? This is the other one. Oh, this is the other one. We're not using the fish dynamics. <laughs> As you can see, it's quite a fiddly job. But... Yeah. And you won't believe how it's going to look in a minute. Once we get going. Yes, I have brought the Cobra down tonight. <laughs> I like to break the rules a bit. All right, so that's going on nicely. Loads and loads of times around it. They're not fussy about the bait elastic. Yeah, so don't be shy with the elastic, folks. Just keeps it nice and tight. And also the bonus, you know, the beauty of using size 8 o hooks is you don't get pressured by dogfish so much which is another big tip of using bigger hooks. A lot of people use size sixes and smaller, but as I say, it does put the dogfish off a bit. Well, plus it's not only that, they can't bite into an 8 hook, which is about the same size as their mouth, can yeah. they? Right, so that's that. Right, so put them back down on the rock there, Brett. Done. We'll just have a look. Just make the hook. Nice and proud. Yeah, all right. There you go, folks. That is a hus bait. Yeah, it's big. Yeah, it's bold. But that is a good hus bait. One squid. Nice uh, one, man. And half a side of mackerel. Yeah, ideal. And you got your new headlight on as well. You can see what you're doing. <laughs>